Swanee? Hello, Michael. There's something I can help you with, officer? My name is Robert Swanigan. I'm the assistant chief of the Georgetown Police Department. Swanee's a good guy. We went to high school together. Pleasure meeting you. I'm Haley Fraley with Action News. You've probably seen me on television. I try not to watch much television, ma'am. I get all my news on Facebook. I find it to be the most credible and unbiased source for information. I see. My visit here today concerns Elijah Craig. The missing statue? More like stolen statue, Michael. You were at Royal Spring Park at the time of the incident, is that correct? I was there, but I didn't really see anything. Regardless, I'm going to need you to come down to the station and answer a few questions. Moments after the unveiling, the statue was taken from its pedestal. An investigation into the statue's disappearance is currently underway. Called it. Hey Jarvis, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just enjoying the latest chapter in the downfall of civilization. Hey, what is it with you humans and your obsession with statues anyway? Can't you find a better way of celebrating someone besides turning their likeness into a rock? Isn't there a dog that you'd like to see a statue of? How about Benji or Rin Tin Tin? Maybe even Lassie. Lassie, please. I couldn't really give a Hey, what's going on? What's in your hand? What the hell do you think you're doing? Something that I should have done a long time ago. This is Pastor Mason with the candidate for city council, Sandra Wilkin Brent. Vote for her. She's number 11. God bless. May peace be upon you. Find the perfect gift for any occasion at the Carriage House. Celebrating over four decades of serving Georgetown, the Carriage House offers a variety of fresh flowers, silks, gifts, candles, and more. Stop by and see Karen, Kevin, and Sassy Boots today. Looking for the best HVAC company in Central Kentucky? Then look no farther than GW Heating and Cooling. Licensed, insured, experienced, and dependable. Give them a call today at 859-233-0161 or visit them online. GW Heating and Cooling, the best in the business. And Fat Cats. Every delicious bite of food at Fat Cats Pizzeria is created locally and cooked to order with the freshest ingredients just for you. Go ahead, your taste buds will thank you. So they decided to waste your afternoon too? Yeah, I was having a drink at Sliante. I was about three sips into my old fashioned when Swanee walked in. He said I needed to come to the station to answer a few questions. My wife was giving me a haircut when your boy Swanee showed up, acting all dirty hairy and shit. Said I was wanted for questioning. They probably just want to know if we saw anything, that's all. What the hell is Sliante? The pub, you know, on Main Street? You mean slant. It's actually pronounced Sliante. What the hell does Sliante even mean? It's Irish, I think. I don't really know what it means. I'm just gonna call it slant. Gentlemen, thank you for coming to the station today. Really, Tom? Are you the one that told Swanigan to bring us all down here? It was me, I admit. But I had to, gentlemen. The next election is right around the corner, and as the mayor of Georgetown, it's important that my constituents know that I am very tough on crime. So Swanee's going to ask us a few softball questions and we'll be on our merry way? Of course, Michael, of course. It's all just for show. Trust me, this will be a walk in the park. Michael Cresp. You're from Georgetown, is that correct? Yes, Swanee, I'm from Georgetown. Are you currently unemployed? No, I have a job. I'm an author. Oh, an author. 
That's not really work, though, is it? Oh, it's hard work, actually. I'm making stuff up all the time, which is mentally exhausting. I'm also typing most of the day, and that can be pretty grueling on the old fingers. Rondi Vinegar, born and raised in Georgetown, but you recently moved to Houston, Texas, is that correct? Yes, just a few months ago. Texas is an awful big state. Lots of space to hide a statue if one that was inclined to do so. I suppose. But I'm flying back to Houston tomorrow. What would I do, stick in the overhead compartment? Nathan Bench. Now you don't really live in Georgetown, do you? Nope. I'm a sovereign citizen of Stamping Ground, Kentucky, which means you have no authority or jurisdiction over me. Oh, is that what you think? I've got diplomatic immunity within the city limits. I'm like the damn Pope, except I'm younger and better looking. You realize that a crime like this comes with a long prison sentence or even worse. What do you mean worse? Like capital punishment? Right now, everything's on the table. You realize we have ways of making you talk. How about I give you a healthy dose of sodium pentothal? I'd rather you didn't. I'm on a new health insurance plan, and I don't want to take any medication without knowing what my copay is first. That statue is valued at over $100,000. That's a felony theft. Hmm. The only one guilty of felony theft is that damn sculpture for ripping you off. A hundred grand for that thing was highway robbery. All finished. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? It was positively dreadful, if you want my honest opinion. The hair around your eyes was out of control and needed to be trimmed. I don't know why you're so afraid of scissors. Oh, I don't know. Two razor-sharp knives held loosely together by a skinny little pin? Scissors are an instrument of death fashioned by the devil himself. If they're not safe to run with, what makes them okay to put near my eyes? Well, you look very handsome now. I'm still upset at you, and I don't think anything will make me feel better. How about a treat? Make it two, and I'll forget this whole thing ever happened. Michael, do come in. I trust your meeting with Swanee went well? It wasn't exactly the walk in the park you said it was going to be. I'm sorry to hear that. That's one of the reasons that I asked you to come by my office, so I could apologize to you personally. What's the other reason? Because I need your help. You need my help. Indeed I do. Come with me. I have something I need to show you. I'm just gonna call it slant. 